I'm Brett Wagner. I'm a professor at Western Michigan University in the Hayworth College of Business and director of the Integrated Supply Management Program. And I use the ERP simulation strategy game in our production planning and control class to give students the feeling of planning production in a real-time dynamic environment. Uh, we use it for about a month of 24 hours a day, seven day a week simulation to give students the feel for what it takes to implement their strategic plans in terms of marketing the muesli cereals and to plan and, and, and monitor the progress of the production and make sure that they can meet their strategic plans. I've been involved with SAP and the University of Lyons since 1998 and uh, worked to get to the position where we can uh, use ERP technology in the way that we'd like to in the curriculum Congress and the curriculum program. And it's been a challenge to use a real life system, a uh, auditable system with all the, the checks and the, the, the challenges with real time data. Uh, so I've done some work in developing some introductory materials and an introductory text. And now I'm uh, glad to be part of the partnership that has uh, developed the ERP simulation to really bring the dynamic of nature, to really use it as a business system to have real data to evaluate results and not just process transactions. Using the simulation tool really creates an advantage in teaching from the point and click and there is some requirement to understand the system and get through that, but students don't understand how it helps to manage a dynamic process until they are in a simulation environment, until they are having to manage the materials, the design of the materials, and that coordinates with their marketing strategy, with the cash flow, with their ordering, with their production. So putting in a dynamic environment, now the tool is their view on an operating concern versus just something they're trying to click and point and, and, and survive. It is now a tool to manage a, a, a business and with the simulation environment, they feel like they're managing a real company and they get involved with it both emotionally and intellectually. The forecasting addition to the simulation game is, is a great advancement in terms of using a forecasting tool to give students the opportunity to look at data, to look at the data patterns, and to really understand the dynamic nature of forecasting. Traditionally, when you teach forecasting, students get lost in the calculations. They don't really understand the purpose of projecting future results. Uh, with forecasting integrated with ERP SIM, they have to make forecasts, but then they have to live them and find out that if they make mistakes in the forecast model, if they don't forecast correctly, that suddenly they're not meeting market demand or they have too much material so it really brings forecasting to them so that they understand the purpose of forecasting and what a good forecast is and the limitations of forecasting. The other new feature in, in product cost planning uh, really is a nice addition to the simulation because now students can use the actual product cost planning tool fairly simply but get a look at what's this happened to their product cost as either their recipe has changed as now the bill of material is different and it takes different ingredients in different quantities or as the market changes so if there is an increase in the price of dried fruits or nuts or some of the more volatile products that they can now evaluate that and really get a quick look at the profitability and see the value of tools that pull from the system pull real-time data and then they can also feed those new prices into their material so that when they look at their, uh, their actual costs, they can control the variances between actual and planned and get a better financial results and, and more understandable data. The new cl dedicated client for the ERP simulation has a lot of advantages from a uh, systems operation standpoint. It's a much smaller client. It only has the data needed for the ERP simulation, not additional data that's not required. So that makes client copy and client administration and database size much more manageable. Accessing and the speed and the performance is also much more manageable. Having two clients gives us the advantage that the students can build the master data into the client. All the organizational structures are there, but building the master data gives them the understanding of what the company is, what its products are like. Having the second client where that data is built correctly uh, gives us the opportunity to run the simulation and not worry about mistakes in the master data. So the students build it, we copy over with the correct data. It should look the same to them because if they build it correctly, it would be exactly like the second client. But with that second client, we reduce problems and questions about simulation errors because we minimize those there are going to be simulation errors due to master data problems. 
my research area is in production planning control and production scheduling and ERP SIM will allow for a lot of interesting research and allow us to address questions that haven't been addressed. For example, in production planning, there has been a lot of research about schedule flexibility, schedule changes, impacts on the production environments. And that research is limited because it can never get down to the shop floor level. All the simulations make very basic assumptions about changing schedules and assigning arbitrary costs. With the RP SIM, now we're entering a, a research phase where we can simulate a very realistic shop floor with actual costs, with material costs, with inventory costs. And now we can see how really good or bad those changes are what really we should do in terms of making schedules more stable, what happens if we're more responsive. So now we have a tool where we can do some really dynamic research in, and validate what's been gone on before and, and, and get rid of the inconsistencies in some of that previous research. That's one interesting area. The other interesting area is in looking at human behavior, looking at how schedulers and planners actually interact and the decisions they make and the quality of those decisions. And now having a tool where you can really simulate the complexities of the environment, or at least the important parts, will let us really analyze how decisions are made, what are good approaches to making decisions, and understand how people interact with planning systems. So this creates really some really interesting areas to, and really will revitalize planning and scheduling research, bringing in the human factors, bringing in realistic environments and a realistic simulation with the real business software. ERP SIM is the next generation of the University Alliance and trying to develop real quality curriculum using the SAP planning tools. Uh, it's been a challenge for a lot of people involved in the Alliance program, but we've always had the faith that getting hands-on to real software is going to be a great advantage. And through a lot of developments in dedicated clients in easy to use curriculum, has started to really give us the promise of what uh, ERP technology can do. With ERP SIM now, we've really opened the door on a whole new range of activities. And, and the interesting part is to see what faculty do with the tool, that they start to use it in ways that nobody ever imagined, that uh, in, in my case, running a simulation for a month rather than as a series of planned periods is a neat application that nobody would have thought of. And so this is really going to be fun to watch how this is going to develop in the future and what ideas this will generate throughout the Alliance program.